Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tekken 2 video. Code, why are you playing this game so much? Because it is amazing. I love this game. And I found out that that doesn't work, so we need to move this back over here. Burp, that'll work. Um, have you ever noticed, like, actually, no, not have you noticed. Um, I sometimes often wonder how many people are aware of how insignificantly small we are in comparison to the universe. Because when you look up images, or when you look up like Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Uh, the context. Um, the Mars lander thingy. The, the all the missions that are going on right now. That took a really long time to get to. You know, in context to the universe, we are small. We're we're small. You know. Um. The distance it takes to travel from Earth to the moon is significant. It's, it's a huge undertaking. Like, if you've ever been on vacation and traveled uh, across the US, just a couple of states, you know that it takes forever. In context, you know? If you were to drive from one side of the United States to the other side of the United States, it takes you a couple of days, you know? You don't you do not do that journey in 24 hours. Although, I, I, did, I did drive from here to Boston in 24 hours. That was a mistake. <clears throat> I, I started at nighttime, got a bunch of sleep beforehand, and then I took off and, and drove throughout the night and all the way until the next night. It was horrible. It was, I will never do that drive again. <laughs> so, definitely, definitely need to take breaks because of the distance. But when you think about like how fast a rocket needs to travel in order to break through the Earth's atmosphere and, and to to get to outer space, you know, just wow. We we did that, you know. These human beings, these creatures on Earth used their sophistication and brains to fling ourselves into space. And it makes you it makes you appreciate just a everyday life. Like today Today wasn't any special kind of like celebration or special day of any kind, but it felt good to just live life, you know? It felt good to wake up early, get myself dressed, get some coffee, hang out on the kitchen table for a second, and then start working, you know? And it wasn't any significant breakthrough of work, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I sometimes think that we take ourselves too seriously in the roles that we play. Whether it's... Whoa. That's bad. Hold on. Uh, can I save that? No. I've got both wheels on that side off, so... That's no save. No bueno. Um, we take ourselves too seriously as authoritarian figures, as leaders, you know, nothing really gives you any, any power over anyone else, any decision making at all. And ultimately when it comes down to the thought of life on earth and the way that humans are, like, <clears throat> what am I trying to say here? Well, Code, you're going crazy. It's probably true. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past myself to be missing a few marbles. <clears throat> But aren't we all? 
Isn't that like a requirement to be human? Just to be a little bit crazy? Basically, don't take what you do too seriously. Ever. Oh gosh! Mm. You might be pretty good at your job, or you might be pretty good at doing something, you know? But when it comes down to it, there's always somebody else who can do something better. And in the end, is it something that is significantly, significantly impacting the world around you, you know? I just think, oh gosh, oh, oh I, I kept it, I kept it, look, look, I stayed on, I'm good. Come on, come on, oh, come on, don't slow down, don't slow down. Getting stuck on this thing, that's, that's the worst. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... In the grand scheme of the universe and the vastness of space and interstellar space, like, the job that I have, you know, I love my job, don't get me wrong, this is not a bash to the job at, at all, but like, what significance am I impacting in the world by creating programs to help other people make money? Like in the end, you know, I'm having fun. I, that's that's what I see it for. I'm figuring out programming and everything else. So I love I love programming. Why am I putting it up there? We need to toss you down. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. By the way, we're making money today. We're gonna be making some money inside lumber um, because I need to buy more land. Why? Because that's what the Interstellar st Space Station. Spell the stellar space station said it. No, um, because I like building. I like being creative. I use my hat to express myself. No, I don't. I d How is my hair today? Is it is it gelled? Fine. You can ask Jack about it today. It was, it was not fine earlier. <clears throat> I didn't have any hair gel, and I had the floofster going on. It was crazy. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, we should have a news release. Did you guys, are, are you subscribed to the, uh, the Roblox News Weekly? We, uh, we do that once a week. We, uh, cover some news. You know, n nothing life-changing, but it's fun. And I like it a lot. Oh no, that tree's about to die. Don't die on me. Do not die. You need to come with me. Come with me if you want a long plank. I was thinking about doing an episode of Fortnite with squads, like random squads that I join, and just talk. Be like, good evening. And they'd be like, whoa, your voice is so cool. What is that? And be like, I'm a game announcer. Or something. I don't, I don't know. Mm. I had somebody ask me the other day. He's a little kid. He's, he's like, dude, are you a YouTuber? I'm like, yes, I am. He's like, what's your channel? I'm like, it's the same as my name. Oh, and I guess uh, my channel name actually isn't Code Primate. My channel name is Heath Haskins. I just thought about that the other day. But it's, it's, that's not, it's Code Primate. Everybody knows Code Primate. That's me. You know? So I, I don't want to get it. Too confused. Oh, you're about to die. Come here. Come here. Don't die. Your buddy about to die too. I, I get you before you die. Come with me. We make you into nice chair. I, I turn you into wall. Maybe a couple cups from your, your hands. You take, take your hands, turn them in, into cups. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I think that's good for now. That'll, that'll probably be good. Wee, we're going backwards. Swoo. That was a good distance. Okay. I didn't want to do too much tonight because um, I do have a little bit of the sniffles, but I think that's due to the cold. And it's supposed to start snowing again tonight. I mean, yay! <laughs> but come on. 
Oh, and by the way, to Hope and Oliver's teachers, stop passing out homework on school days that are that are designated as snow days. Seriously. Better yet, Springfield, which is the town that we're in, had rolling blackouts. That means the city utilities said, hey, we're going to turn off the electricity in certain parts of the, the city for uh, an hour or so, right? And these teachers, knowing that schools are out, knowing that there's a designated school day for the launch program, because my, my kids are, are online learning, still passed out homework and said, oh, by the way, make sure you do it whenever uh, your electricity's on. Really? Uh, I will admit, school absolutely is, is important, okay? Don't take this the wrong way, but lighten up. All right, your authoritarian figure had, you're a, you're a teacher, all right? You need to teach and take some compassion as to what a snow day means to a child. Okay? Take some compassion and figure it out because if everybody is having a snow day, you need to let them go outside and play. It was ridiculous that we had to stay up until 10 o'clock tonight and it's like school was out for online classes and for all the regular classes. And we had to stay up to do homework. Homework. Are you kidding me? Seriously, I'd like I want to go all Karen and, and write to the board and be like, dude, dudes, do that, do that. I bring before you now the teachers who take away the, the fun days. They take away the, the day of the snow. You need to tell them snow, snow more. Boop, 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 boop. That is very unstable. So, uh oh, did it did it fall out? It fell out. It fell out. Okay, fine. Anyhow, um, no significant big changes for today. Um, you know, just hanging out, having fun, and playing some lumber. That's that's my agenda. I didn't want to make it uh, some kind of big to do or anything like that. Oh, I did get um, com comments on the other videos and stuff. And some pretty significant comments as far as I'm concerned, like how I make an impact on the daily life of, of people. You know, you coming in here and having a bad day and feeling better just by watching some of my videos. That's cool. Thank you. Um, to the one person that, that gave me the really, really nice comment, I went ahead and pinned you. Like, I'm not known for pinning comments. I'll, I'll go through and I'll heart them all the time, especially like whenever I'm reading them really fast, I'll heart them just because I'm the only person that can give a heart. I, like everybody can give a like button, but I'm the only guy that can like give you a heart. So I feel good about hearting all the comments as much as possible. Now it's it's not true for all the times. I don't I don't always get to heart everyone. But if you get a heart, that means I read your comment. And it was significant enough to me. Is that gonna clear this one? I don't even know if that's gonna it's gonna hit. Oh, it worked. Did it clear him? Yeah, it did. Okay. Somebody asked for um, a script, the the cell script like Tom's got here in Lumber. And I keep telling you no. And there's a specific reason why. Because I don't think you appreciate it enough. And that's not to say that you don't appreciate Lumber. I'm saying you underestimate the amount of time and programming that went into all of this. And if you don't believe me, I'll point it out to you here in a second. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I made it over here. Look at that. They just all went to, to poop as soon as I hit hit the base. Alright. Come here. 
We'll, we'll do this one at a time. I'm okay with that. Okay. So let's chop up the entire tree first. Two, three. Should I put my truck over there? Yeah, let's go get some inclines. Uh, no, I can't. I've only got 41 money. Oh no. <coughs> I think it's at least 80 for the conveyors, isn't it? <coughs> oh no, what did I leave this on? It's on bigs. Yeah, you on bigs. You bigs. <laughs> Wow, that's just not chopping at all, is it? There we go. Come on. Chop. Chop it. Chop. Hey, I'm Vince from Cha Slap Chop. You ever seen the Slap Chop? If you guys haven't, that's a, that is an amazing tool, the Slap Chop. Or at least Vance makes it look pretty cool. There's another one, the, the Sham Wow. ShamWow and Slap Chop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Hmm. There was something else I was going to talk about today, but I, I forgot what it was. Oh, oh, dude. Um, I did see Kaneko Kitten's um, Roblox is helping hackers. That was not truth um if you have your account stolen contact roblox don't get an email from them call them there's a there's a helpline there is a specific line that you can call and even if they don't take your call like right then you can get a call back if you've ever spent robux on your account like if you have a roblox card be sure to keep it around because that is one way that you can verify that you actually spent money on your account to get it back they said oh you have to email us from the account that's on file well it was an unverified email first off the second off was um the email would have shown up as the creation email so why is it so hard to look in an account and see, dude, this guy had a bunch of stuff and all of a sudden it's being sold off at really cheap to random people, you know? Better yet, is anyone who was connected with the, uh, the buying and the selling of that guy's items? What was his name? Fairy Green? Oh. Fairy. That's all I remember. And it had a specific, like, spelling. F-A-I-R-E or something like that. It was more like fiery. I don't know. Anyhow. <clears throat> don't get me wrong. It is easy to install a key logger, grab somebody's password, and then log in. But here's the thing. If you have two form factor authentication on, it has to send an email to the email that's on file. And by you looking at that email, it should be significant enough to like stop it. Now, what you could do is listen for the person's username and password when they went to log into their email, but then that would still require you typing with a key logger in the background to get that password in the, into the email system. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but it's been quite some time since I've had to type in my Roblox password. So, every once in a while, I will switch characters, switch accounts and stuff like that, and it does take a significant amount of time for me to type in the password and then to uh, get the email type in the, the numbers on the email and then that's what 2FA is. It's two form factor authentication. Two factor authentication. Two step verification. You know? So if you are worried about your account, if you're worried about the hackers of the world, and don't get me wrong, 
The, the, yes, those are hackers. Okay, they're they're black hat and they're like malicious, but it's still that is hacking. You know, using the keylogger to gain access into areas that you're not supposed to, stuff like that. Um, now, it would have been even more impressive is if they were the people that actually created the keylogger themselves. Then I'd be even more impressed. But as you know, a lot of keyloggers, well, you might not know that. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, a key logger is a program that sits in the background and it takes into account what the current active program is. So for example, if they were key logging right now, um, on their screen or on their file, they would see Roblox and they would see ASDFFDAWSDAD www like they would see me moving around there would be a, a bunch of key presses but you'd also see like uh, Chrome you might see um, the address of something that I typed in you might see uh, the website um, stuff like that that's what a keylogger does it it logs the keystrokes now I have seen uh, more sophisticated versions. And oh, by the way, I do want to point this out. If you are interested in hackery and hacking and security, I should say security, um, Hack5, H-A-K-5. If you want to go check out something very significant, go check them out. <clears throat> they will teach you, actually. Like you, you can get taught on how to hack. Um, if you're interested in actual like hacking of websites, okay, there's a there's a website called hackthissite.org, and it's a training ground for doing just that. In fact, you're encouraged to go do so. If you want to hack, do it in a safe way. The information is already out there, so I, I have no problem telling you, hey, if you want to go be a hacker, like an actual full fledged hacker, do it in the right way. Go to a website that teaches you how to hack ethically. In fact, you can get your CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker degree, certification. You can get certified. It's a little piece of paper that says, you are a hacker. You understand, you know. And there's great jobs called pen testing. You know, that's where you actually test, you, you, penetration testing is where you, you test the security of companies. Um, Kevin Mitnick, one, one of the greatest hackers of my time, he turned his self around. He like he turned his hacking into a business. Have you ever have you guys ever heard of No before? No? No B4. N O or no K N O W B E and the number four dot com. He turned uh, security awareness into business and he trains employees at companies and he trains um, people how to avoid scams how to significantly reduce loss in uh, data like data loss prevention so don't take it as like, oh no, code's telling me to become a hacker. No, I'm saying if you've got the interest, if you've got the drive to become a hacker, or if you're if you're sitting here on Roblox and downloading exploits, wondering, oh, I don't know what it does, go learn how to actually hack. Sorry, that probably sounded insulting. And it, you know what? It is kind of. Because I'm sitting here playing on a private server because a bunch of kids, a bunch of teenagers, are downloading these exploits and not knowing what they're doing because I can guarantee you that, that if you knew how the programs work in the background like you'd lose interest in actually using them because you would be on to bigger and better things than trying to exploit Roblox huh <sighs> This has been a good session, I think. It's been 25 minutes. Code, code talks about hacking. 
I do rant and rave a lot, don't I? I remember back in uh, in high school, middle school. I guess it was more high school time frame. Just the sheer curiosity and knowledge that I gained from library books, you know? And going to the library and finding Red Hat Linux system software, you know, for free in the back of the book. Getting my hands on my own Red Hat Linux operating system for free. It was, that was big back then. But, you know, it's scary to mess with your machine. You don't want to mess up your computer. You don't want to, like, delete something that you weren't supposed to. But at the same time, how are you going to learn? How are you going to get by in the world if you are not testing out your, your computer? Just so you know, before uh, USB, they had this thing called PS2. It's a, it's a different kind of port that connected uh, your keyboard and your mouse back in like the 90s. And <clears throat> I may or may not have messed up my mouse by messing with the drivers and stuff like that. And I didn't know how to fix it. So I ended up having to learn how to move throughout the operating system with nothing but a keyboard, which nowadays a lot of programmers don't even like compensate for. Like, did you know that you can move around fields by just pressing tab? Like you can tab through fields. Do you know you can go backwards in those fields by holding shift and pressing tab? Like say there's a form where it says name, birthday, email, blah, blah, blah. You can tab through it. Type in what you want, press tab, it goes to the next field. The default enter is usually the submit button and escape is usually the cancel or clear button. Mm -hmm. Need to change windows? Alt tab. Uh oh, and that, I didn't mean to put it in that one. I meant to put it in this little one. Need to close a window? Alt F4. That's still one of my favorites. For free cookies, press Alt F4. Don't do that. Don't don't press Alt F4. If you want to close this uh, video, Alt F4. That'll close it. It just it amazes me how many people just don't know computers. You know, not so much uh, programming or hackery or anything like that, but just general knowledge of computers. I wish it was a standard. And nowadays it's starting to be. But at the same time, I have a big fear that the children of today growing up on Chromebooks like a Chromebook's nice. It's great to do Chromebook things on. But like when you grow up and go for a job, most likely that job's going to be like Windows based. So you're going to have to know how to work with Excel and Word, stuff like that, not Google Docs. In fact, they, they would probably be against Google Docs, especially if you work for like a corporation. And you know what's even worse? That corporation is spending thousands upon thousands of dollars just for you to have Microsoft. And here we are using Google Chrome, using Chromebooks, to teach our children. I think Microsoft made a mistake. No offense. I love Bill. Bill Gates. Significant businessman. Not really that smart with computers. Like, no offense to Bill Gates. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, Bill Gates is like the best computer guy. He's like so smart. Not really. He was a he was a really good businessman. But the DOS operating system, the thing that he sold on like all the IBM computers, he didn't make it. He bought it from a guy for like ten bucks or sixty bucks or something like that. Go go look at the history. Bill Gates is really just a businessman. 
Uh, who's a Steve Steve Jobs? You know, businessman. If you got an Apple iPhone right now, you've been played. <laughs> no, no offense. Of course, the I, the same could be said about Android and Google and everything else. But you know what? It is 2021, and we have so much tech, it's not even funny. I wish I had grown up on the technology that you guys have nowadays, you know? Seriously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too far, too far, too far. Come on, come, come back, come back, come back. Oh, we are on... That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Uh, well, let's just keep loading up and pretend like nothing's wrong. <laughs> there we go. Let me get this sold off real quick. Before the day is done. Before the video is over. Ooh, that almost turned into a, an icy stair. You don't want ice on stairs, you know? That's, uh, that's usually something that we try to avoid. Icy stairs. <laughs> could could be stairs as in the stairs that you you walk up, or it could be stairs as in people glaring at you with their eyes. You, you want to avoid icy stairs as well. <laughs> it's a play on words, code. You're so clever. <clears throat> Not really. Just, I'm a little tired. You know, like I said, I've been uh, working with PDF programs, uh, PDF files, like all day. Trying to figure out a way. Oh, hey, I should ask it here, because I've I've got a lot of programmers and hackers inside the the fan base. I'm trying to figure out a way to use Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion is the programming language that I'm currently working with for an application. It's web based. It's it's like a connection between SQL and HTML and Java and Flash and Adobe. Anyhow, it's an Adobe product. Um, I'm trying to take in a PDF, read it, and then output an XML object. Like I'd, I'd like to get field value, field value, field value, field value. But I don't know how to do it with Cold Fusion. And then my other solution is just make a bot. I'll, I'll create a bot that goes in there and does it for me, you know? That's the other thought. Oh gosh, did that not? Hold on. There we go. Come here. There we go. <laughs> All the ice is like, Phew. that was pretty cool. Uh oh, uh oh, got a piece fell out. Come here. Get in there. Let's go. Oh, do not glitch. Don't glitch. Whatever you do, do not glitch. Don't hit trees, Code. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to. Oh, oh. We're going to have one piece down there. One piece snuck out. What do we have, like 40 bucks? Okay, I messed it up. I messed it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Get... Can, can we please hit this again? Thank you. And hit it again. There we go. Now I should just be able to, like, push... Right. Whoa, it like didn't let go. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. That's a big piece. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, okay, we can just walk the rest up. I was trying to do do the fancy thing, you know, which is just where you throw them. These are small, but they're still worth it. Man, out of those trees, I still got 25,000. 25,000, 26,000. Not bad. Not bad for a, a hard day's work. It's been a hard day's night. Is it a hard day's night? And I've been sleeping like a log. Or work, working like a dog. I don't, I don't remember. It's a, it's a Beatles song, you know? That was one of my mom's bands. Not mine. I like the Beatles, but only because my mom made me listen to them whenever I was little. You guys know who the Beatles are? I bet there's a lot of people out there who know the Beatles. Whoa! Up on two wheels. Nice. Okay, well, um, that's, that's it for tonight. Don't forget... Today is the last day to vote, okay, for um, Bloxy Awards. Oh gosh, we announced that in the in the news channel, and that's coming out today. So go vote, all right, Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. It's always been your choice, and I want that to be significant. I want that to mean something. You're not like subscribing just because I did a whole bunch of hype. You're not subscribing because I'm pushing the boundaries of saying you need to go do it now or blah, 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 blah. I, I don't care. Uh, honestly, deep down to me, if you hit that subscribe button, I don't care. It, it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, turn on notifications. That is your choice. It always has been. Every channel you see on YouTube, that is your choice. I, I want you to have that choice. I want you to stay free. Love you guys very much. Have a great night or day or whatever time it is for you. But go play video games. Go imagine. Go think. And have fun doing it. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.